Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into Harbor Freight sale. This is their Memorial Day sale. It's actually a four day sale but we're already most of the way through that but I did want to get this video out before the actual Memorial Day sale on Monday. Uh, right now they have the 20% off coupon going from the 27th to the 29th uh, but the main thing is going to be Monday's 25% off coupon so if you're going into Harbor Freight do not forget to use this 25% off. I am glad to see these coupons coming back. We're starting to see a little bit better coupons like we used to uh, so that is nice but besides the 25% off let's go ahead and take a look at the inflation busting coupons. This has been going on since the 23rd but it's going on until June 2nd so let's just see what they got. So here we're looking, they have a couple of Predator generators. Now I've never used one, but I have done a few videos and gotten a lot of good comments from you guys stating that uh, they've gotten good results from these Predator generators. So $40 off on each of these doesn't seem like a bad deal. Uh, one and a half ton aluminum floor racing jack for $90 down from $100. That's a good deal. I've had good experiences with the Harbor Freight jacks. Here they have a 10 foot by 17 foot portable garage. Now, just like their other canopy where it doesn't have the sides or anything like that, uh, they're both very affordable and I think they'd be fantastic if you're not fortunate enough to have a garage or possibly your garage is full and you don't have any room and you're kind of forced to work outside uh, if you deal with a lot of weather or heat. This could be a good thing to have some nice shade, uh, throw a couple of fans in there. Uh, nice little thing especially for two hundred dollars. It's got a door as well that shuts on it. Now as far as durability I can't tell you. But for $200, I think it'd be a decent purchase if you're in a situation where something like this could be helpful. The Flux 125 welder for $110 down from $150. They have a couple of Bauer batteries, a 5 amp and a 3 amp hour battery. Savings of $10 on the 5 amp and $7 on the 3 amp. Then they have the Daytona 3 ton heavy duty ratcheting jack stands. I do like what they've done with the safety features on these uh, with the locking mechanism and everything. So I think for $35, that's a good purchase. These small air compressors, they, these things are always on sale. And even when they're not on sale, they're still extremely cheap. Uh, so if you need something like that, not a bad price at all. Here they have a 20 volt cordless half inch drive drill driver. If you run the Bauer lineup, this could be a good addition. Or if you're just getting into power tools and you're a DIYer, this isn't a bad route to go. I've heard good things about the Bauer lineup. Uh, you know, obviously they're not top tier or anything like that, but for the price, I think you're getting some good tools for that price. $50 down from $65. I mean, that's that's a pretty good deal for a bag, charger, battery, and drill. I don't have any Bauer or Hercules stuff just because I've always ran the Milwaukee M12 and the DeWalt 20 volt, and that's what I like to stick to. Uh, they have everything I need. I know they're reliable. That's what I've always used. So that's why I stick with. Plus, I don't want to have 15 different chargers. Even if I find a fantastic deal like this, I don't want more chargers and more batteries and stuff. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, then when it comes to their grinding wheels, cutoff wheels, sandpaper, things like that, I try to stay away from at Harbor Freight just because I haven't good, had good experiences with the, like the wire wheels or the sandpaper and when it comes to high speed cutting wheels and stuff like that I want to go with something quality because some of the situations you may find yourself in can become very sketchy very quickly. Uh, then they have the 20 volt earthquake XT half inch drive impact with a 4 amp hour battery fast charger and case for $230 down from $280. They have some 1500 pound capacity vehicle dollies for $50. I think that's a good price that's very handy to have especially if you have uh, project car or anything like that. I believe they have a couple different variations of this as well. I don't know if they have the lifting dollies or not, but that is something that I would possibly be interested in. But for $50, I think this is a good deal. Here they have some more Warrior Titanium drill bits. Now, no, these drill bits are far from fantastic. Uh, but if you're a DIYer or even a professional in any sort of capacity, there are definitely certain situations you'll find yourself in that you may not want to use a high quality drill bit uh, because you may know that it may damage that drill bit or break that drill bit. So having a set of these bits on hand is just handy, whether you're a DIY or a professional. I've had a set, the black oxide ones for six, seven years, and they're definitely not the best. Definitely not. I've destroyed a few of the tips, but they have been very handy to have for those situations where I didn't want to use my good bits. 
uh, just because of that. So it's at least worth it, especially for $12 down from $16, even at the $16, it's just good to have a set of these cheap drill bits on hand because they're not absolutely horrible, but obviously not the best, but just handy to have on hand. They have a full plank, thousand pound capacity dolly for $24 down from $30. These can be handy to move things that aren't necessarily easy to move by hand. Uh, then they have the 72 inch by 22 inch triple bank US General toolbox down to $1,500 from $1,600. And if I wouldn't have got my Husky box and been happy with it, the US General was one of my next options. And I think for the price, even though the prices have gone up over the last few years, I think even for the price, you're getting a really good box um, in that price range. So I think that's definitely a good option to go with if you're considering a uh, toolbox and you're trying to stick around a certain price range. Harbor Freight has a lot of great options. And then here are some Warrior step bits, just like the drill bits above. Same thing here. I've had these for six, seven years. And once again, far from the best, but when you look at uh, high quality step bits, you're looking at a pretty hefty price uh, for them. So if you're a DIYer or somebody that uses these intermittently, uh, these can be very handy to have. I I've had very good results with mine. No, it's not perfect, but it's done the job that I need it to. And I think for the price, they're a fantastic deal. And Harbor Freight now has, I don't know, three or four different brands uh, and quality range as far as their step bits. Uh, motorcycle lift for $500 down from $600. The 34 inch full bank service cart at 550 down from 600. The 20 volt cordless half inch impact, the tool only for $90. Then you have the 26 inch US General single bank roller cart for 330. That's a pretty good deal down from 360. I, I usually stay away from the batteries unless the, it's something that I know that I don't need, you know, <laughs> expensive batteries in. Some 10,000 lumen four foot link ball LED hanging shop lights for $50. Not a bad deal. Uh, they do have some better priced options. Not saying the lights are better, but uh, they have some around like the $20 price range that I think is a fantastic deal. Uh, but I have some good earth LED shop lights that are 10,000 lumens and they're $40 and I think they're a little bit better deal than this. But Harbor Freight does have more options than just this one here, but still not terrible. Three gallon, three horsepower shop vac for $35. A welding cabinet at 170 down from 200. They're not the best quality uh, welding cabinets, but for the prices you're getting a, a pretty decent deal. Here they have the half inch drive 25 inch breaker bar for $15 down from $20. That's always a fantastic uh, breaker bar to have. Not the best out there, but for the price, it's really hard to beat. Parts washer for $100 down from $130. Oscillating multi-tool for $10. I mean, if you're just looking for something that uh, you're going to use once a year or something, you know you are just going to abuse the crap out of, maybe that's a good deal. I don't know. If you need a set of junkyard wrenches, possibly $15 down from $20. Uh, Hercules variable speed bench grinder. I'm always afraid of purchasing these at Harbor Freight just because I don't want that death wobble on my bench or anything like that. Uh, so if you guys have any experience with any of the bench grinders from Harbor Freight, please drop a comment down below. Or if you have a brand that you do recommend that isn't extremely expensive, something that I'm going to use here at the house, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. Here's a Pittsburgh tool set. It's a four drawer chest for $40. It's a 105 piece set. Um, this is more of like, this isn't like your Cobalt or Husky or Craftsman or whatever, the three or four drawer tool chest that you find at Lowe's and Home Depot. Same kind of idea, but packed with more of your like home jobs, like hanging picture frames and not very much. Uh, it's, it's your very generic, basic, basic tools. Like it's, it's not like the sets that you're going to get in Lowe's and Home Depot. This isn't quite set up like that. The Quinn quarter inch deep sockets, 10 piece set, uh, $10 down from $15. Some paint guns and paint materials. I, I don't use any of that, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Another floor jack this is the three ton low profile rapid pump, $160 down from 180 and the Daytona three ton low profile super duty floor jack with rapid pump $250 down from 280. But that's it as far as the super coupons. 
as far as this sale going on until June 2nd. And remember, if you're going in for Memorial Day on Monday, make sure that you use that 25% off coupon. Save yourself a little bit more money. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts or any of those products, products that I may have had questions on. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. See you guys next time.